Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. So, I know I abruptly ended the last vlog. Yes, it, it was a lot for me to even process yesterday. On top of even getting some news that I got that I needed to also process on my own. Um, not with me, but it was with family. Um, but I am doing a lot better. Um, however, I did lose my taste and smell. So, yeah, I have been tackling like this as much as I can. But it's not going to stop me from being productive. I've always been the type of person that even when I'm sick and they tell me to rest, I'm not one to do that. Because I don't like to sit and not do anything. You know? So, I still have work to do. <laughs> that, like, that I can't stop that. Um, I'm a work, like, I'm a, kind of like a workaholic. I feel like I'm always, ha I always have to be productive in some way, shape, or form. So... We have a lot on our agenda today, on a lighter note. Um, I have to finish packing away this stuff. I have like a bunch of garbage bags here that I still have to bring to the, bring downstairs so that way they can pick that up. Um, pack that stuff as well. Um, I'm gonna make sure that everything is sanitized as well. Double sanitized. Um, what else? I have to pack away this stuff. I have to sort out my pants and stuff to make sure and see like what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Same thing with shoes inside of the closet. I already did my desk. I still have to do inside of this um, this armoire, and then I have to order the organization container for the top of that. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna where I'm gonna put my bags as well because they're just sitting here and. I kind of don't like that. Um, I mean, I might put them back inside of the, the armoire, but I mean, like, that that just makes sense, but even still, I don't know. Um, I might even just display them on top of there and just put all of that stuff inside of the, the armoire, just as, like, for paperwork and stuff. So, that's what we have on our agenda today. And I need to also vacuum and tidy up because this is looking a mess. I ordered a TV. I'm going to show you some stuff that I got from Amazon yesterday as well. Um, the irony of me ordering this before even getting that news. I had ordered some vitamins. This is the immune support vitamin C gummies from Emergency. And these are, I have grew up on these as well as the multivitamins. They were for kids though instead, but these are the men's ones. Um, for cellular energy, immune and muscle support from VitaFusion. And really good vitamins. Like if you're not one to like 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 the hard vitamins, um, they're really good. I didn't take these yet. This is you're supposed to take two of them. Um Honestly like these are a little bit better because they're a little bit more chewy than these. But yeah, I also got this book. It's a home decor book. Um, it's a home decor book from Aya Swoon. Her name is Athena Caudron. And she just features like a ton of interior designers. And it just allows you to like just scroll, like look through, scroll through. Too much screen time just allows you to like just look through you can see so many different styles from what people offer within their home and how it can inspire you and it was one line that she had quoted inside of here and it says beat move to the beat of your own drum so basically like with decor a lot of people they tend to want to um go, go into something that's not as not comfortable for them my thing is when you're going to try something Try it gradually to see if you like it rather than to invest yourself fully into it because then you're just going to waste money because then you're not going to be fully comfortable with it and then you're just going to be like, okay, 
why did I spend this money on all of this furniture? Because one, vintage furniture is very expensive. Very expensive. The chair that I even have here, that was very fucking expensive. Um, a lot of people may not justify the price for it, but for me, it did. Because I like the chair, it's comfortable, and it fits my style and my aesthetic, and it's what I wanted. But to not even know what you really want specifically for your space and to just fully just go head throttle into it, and you don't like you're not really comfortable with it yet i don't think that that is smart so i do think that like sourcing some home decor books and looking through and seeing like different styles that you mean like because there are various different styles out of here there's some that are just like like this for example it's just like like a jungle inside of the house like a park um very like uh yes yeah, like lake like Central Park, it kind of reminds me of like that, like when you walk in underneath like one of those, um, like a museum kind of, but like with a lot of trees and leaves and stuff like that. But a lot of people um, have different, like various different styles, like even this one, just even flip into that. Like colorful, but uh, full bookshelves, full exposed bookshelves. Some people don't like exposed bookshelves. Um, even this, this is something a little bit more clean, but like with a vintage feel to it. Um, I love these shades. Love these shades. I actually hate the ones that I have now because, and they're from Urban. They don't cover my window all the way. And as you can see, sun still comes through it. So why would you say that they were sun blocking? I need to stop shopping on that place because they be lying about some of their um, furniture pieces, um, which is why I stopped ordering like actual furniture pieces from there. But there's like so many, there's so much to look through inside of this book and there's other books as well. So I highly would recommend. Um, I'm trying to think like what else I have to do. I have to shoot today too. So I'm going to do that. I have to edit some pictures. I have to edit um, video. I have to podcast. And then I have another Amazon shipment coming in today with um, some insurance. Um some ginger um what's the ginger like ginger boo what's the name sake thingies like ginger candies and well they're not candies they're like little like hard pieces of ginger that you suck on and some zinc gummies because zinc is amazing i'm sorry like this turned in, like this is a completely turning content but I'm still trying to take care of myself at the same time while quarantining in my room and take care of my space while taking care of my health and still working. So, yeah, this is, this is definitely going to be a pretty rough week, but we got to do it. So I'm going to catch up with you guys when I kind of get some stuff done. shooting i'm about to put this area back together oh uh, my new background setup um, i'm still not feeling the best sitting on this but it came out really good i'll show you some pictures in a second where did i put those books I forgot to also give you guys an OOTD. Just hit me. Um, these pants are from Zara. This shirt is from Vizmine. These pants are from Common Market Store. And the beanie is Urban Outfitters. And then I just have on some jewelry. That is the OOTD. Guys, this pile is so huge. Like, 
the floor. That's the doorknob.
like teams that like Felicia and Ashley and now Remy, you know, kind of like our squad is with. And what's awesome about Mad Media Group is that you kind of have like a sign part of your team. And so there's so many people that like are part of, you know, the different processes. Like there's people there to help with you like creatively, people that are there to help you make money, people that are there to help you with just like literally anything. So I'm meeting with Okay, so I changed. Um, I have on a whole nother outfit. But here it is. These pants are from Oliver's Apparel. This shirt is from Misbehave. It's just like this tight, like thermal shirt. I love it so much. Um, hat is Urban Outfitters. And the boots are from Zara. And there we go. The other outfit was actually from, which I had the boots on, that are from Zara. It's from Studio Nicholson. That's where that other outfit was from. Both the shirt, the sweater, and the, um, the pants and the hat I had on was from Urban Outfitters. So, I just finished shooting both of those looks. I'm going to edit one of them and upload them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. They're both really good looks, so it's kind of hard to pick like which one do I want to upload. But I think it's probably going to be this one because I feel like it would blend better with my timeline. But let me double check and see first. Okay. I didn't think that this show was like this. So I'm currently watching you. And I'm on the first or well, second episode? First episode. Which is about to, it's literally about to end. And I need to order food as well. But this shit is fucking crazy. This man is fucking crazy.